And just like that we've got another bed it's a pretty huge bed to be fair i've had a bucket full of bindweed if only you knew how long this took i've raked it through there was loads and loads of polystyrene underneath as well obviously to pack the bed up but it's not good when you want to take it all out i'm not sure who did that ah. I've decided now that because of the width um, I'm not going to use this as my strawberry bed that's just too many strawberries just for my just for myself and a few others so I'm going to change one of the cabbage um, beds up there to strawberries and this is now going to become my cabbage patch a lot bigger than I normally make them I normally try and go about three foot four foot maximum but this one's five foot by 13 foot long it was just the way that the timber was I just didn't see the point of cutting it just to take a, um, a foot off each piece so and also I've got some tunnel hoops that'll fit this as well so that'll be perfect for my cabbages and the extra width will be great if I'm um, doing larger cabbages they won't be squashing the bed or hanging over the sides but if you can see all the polystyrene and all plants that i got out look at all this this was all underneath that bed so you, whenever you inherit a plot you just don't know what's underneath the soil i'm sure they thought they were doing the best thing at the time packing it full of um polystyrene to build the you know the raised bed up but in the long run just no good the bindweed was all climbing all underneath it it's everywhere so now my task is to get rid of all that just can't believe that would be under a raised bed i thought it was all soil but luckily i've got the soil's pretty good i'm gonna um go and collect a few sacks of rotted manure to place on the bed and then i'll mulch it with like a, a leaf mulch and bark and then he'll be ready for next year so i was just packing up for the day and i had a text message off a friend saying that compost was on sale in our local branch so it was five bags for 15 pounds so i thought i'd better go down now and stock up ready for spring but to be honest i'm probably going to do another look uh, another order next week but this will probably go on that bed now ready and then I'll cover it over so as you can see I've mulched all the bed um, it's got a good amount of food in it now ready for the winter and the spring I'll plant them all out now, I'll probably put 24 in this bed and that should be plenty um, so let's get that started And there you go, the strawberry beds all planted up, ready for spring. I put 21 plants in here. I was going to put 24, but I just didn't want to push it. I mean, 21 plants is plenty, really, especially for what I need. So I've cut some back. Um, most of this will die off now over the winter, so I'll just keep cutting back the old growth. Let the nutrient go back into the soil. What a day, yeah? I literally planned on doing about three or four hours today, and I've been up here all day again. That just proves like allotment life. You you already know the score. You you set yourself like one or two hours and you end up spending a whole day and time just flies by. Plus other things turn up like I shot off to get the compost. So yeah. Right. Last job and I'm going home. I'm just giving this a quick water to bed in and then I'm heading home. It's a nice hot bath. 
We never learn, do we? We say we're going to come over for like one or two hours and we end up spending the day again. Allotment life, eh? Good morning. So, right. It's looking very tidy here. What a lovely grey, foggy morning. And what does every allotment plot need? Pallets, and lots of them. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a simple pallet compost bin. All you need is some wire or twine, and three pallets. I'm going to go with a um, more permanent basis, so I'm going to use some screws and a drill. Let's go. Okay, so the simplest way is just to get some wire or some twine. Grab your pallet. side and all you do with your wire is place it round tighten it and all you do is place your wire around tighten it And just like that, you've got your own compost bin. How simple is that? Obviously add some more wire down the bottom to strengthen it. And if you want to put some stakes in as well to keep it in place, that's fine as well. I tend to screw it in um, so that I know it's more secure because it's going to be more permanent. But if you're moving things around and stuff, you just want a temporary one, or you haven't got a drill on your plot, just wrap a bit of string around, and there you go, you've got your own compost bin. Another thing that I tend to do is I tend to put some mesh on the inside just to keep the matter in a bit better than the, um, the pallets because obviously the pallets has got bigger holes in these particular ones but if not you can add some more extra slats in if you want but I tend to put some mesh in all the way around and uh, that seems to work for me 